morning hot tots and welcome back to my channel so today's video first of all it's sunny as heck out right now um but today's video we are going to be doing a little reset just like a grocery haul i'm currently going to grab a mcdonald's breakfast because when i grocery shop and i'm hungry things get out of hand i was gonna go to dunkin donuts because i recently if you don't follow me anywhere else i recently just tried dunkin donuts and i know that that's crazy I'm pretty sure I've had a donut from them before, like a glazed, but we just, I never had a Dunkin' near me. Um, so they, I just realized there's one close to my Pilates studio that I go to, and I was like, oh, I wanna try this. Tried their coffee, tried their food, so good. So I was gonna go there, but I kinda don't feel like having coffee this morning. I kind of want like a water and a Diet Coke. <laughs> and a McDonald's egg sandwich. You know when you're just craving the McDonald's breakfast sandwich? So that's what we're gonna get first and then I'm gonna talk to you guys as I eat. So sorry if that's annoying to you, but we got things to do. We gotta do them all at one time. But while I eat, I'm gonna just tell you guys the game plan of my life. Man, I am gonna do a video telling you guys about vacation. We had so much fun, it was such a good time loved it good times and all that but that's not this video this video is about us getting our sh together okay a mcmuffin meal with water on the side yes would you like the receipt uh no i'm okay okay would you like your card back yes <laughs> thank you have a good morning have a good one that guy's like a little too nice he's like super weird kind of like he's being super nice but he gives off like a creepy vibe sometimes but anyways all right let's eat I'm starving starving like Mervin in the mornings lately I've been so hungry I don't know why I've just been so starved got me a water and a diet so First, let's take a bite. My favorite. So, my game plan today is to make some goals. I really wanna to try to work out five times a week, walk five times a week, and then um, eat, like track my calories. I'm gonna make a lot of Felicia Keithley meals this week and like in the future because I just love those meals you know her she has like that chicken corn flake bake with cauliflower rice that she makes it's so good with like cream of chicken in it she has the taco pie she has the KFC bowl stuff like that so I definitely want to make that type of food this week because when I come off vacation especially I'm really wanting like a lot of food wholesome thick you know what I mean type of food where I feel like I'm not eating on a diet a lot of her meals are of course just the lower calorie way to make the meals that you already like so I definitely want to do that this week I'm making KFC bowls I'm making the taco pie and I'm getting the stuff I'm gonna put in the crock pot today I think the stuff to make that Italian seasoning chicken she makes just have that in a container so I can eat that for dinners lunches whatever I want it's she does like two cream of chicken cans of 98 reduced fat cream of chicken actual chicken uh, Italian seasoning packet and a pack of like a you know eight ounce cream cheese in a crock pot and then she'll eat that over pasta she'll eat it over potatoes she eats it by itself you know that's definitely something I want to make this week it sounds really really good so I want to make that KFC bowls and then I am getting the stuff to make the taco pie. And I was going to go ahead, since I'm already getting chicken and cream of chicken and all that stuff, I was just going to go ahead and grab cornflakes and cauliflower rice and corn because I can freeze that and I can eat that next week. So we might have enough groceries to last us two weeks instead of one just because I have some stuff at home that I can make the KFC bowls with already. Um, and then since a lot of the ingredients are the same, with that chicken crock pot stuff with like the cream of chicken and whatnot as another meal she makes. I figured I might as well grab everything for it and just have it for next week. So I'm gonna eat all this up. 
and then we're gonna go grocery shopping. All right, let's go. We made it. <laughs> All right, heading home. Do you ever just anticipate the work that you're gonna have to do to get your groceries unpacked? And you're like, no. We got a lot of groceries, $200 worth, but I had no basics left. I actually really tried to use up everything in my refrigerator. I'll show you the fridge before unpacking. So yeah, here we go. The best thing I ever purchased was this cart, you know? It's one wheel less than it should be. Show you guys what I got. So I got a bunch of different poppies. I haven't tried the watermelon or the raspberry rose. And then there was an orange one. I thought I grabbed an orange. Maybe I didn't. Um, so I just grabbed a couple individual poppies. They were on sale for like four for four dollars or something like that. Got some hundred calorie packs of popcorn this is for bubba's turkey and then i got some buffalo style turkey with colby jack cheese like i always do i grabbed um, over a pound of chicken and some lean ground beef this will be for the chicken that i'm gonna make today i think and then also another chicken meal for this week i got some chicken gravy for my kfc bowls the tomato sauce for the taco bowls some mild salsa some queso blanco the cream of chicken that I need for two of the recipes, some pickles, some egg whites, cream cheese for the recipe. I've been dying on these Ch Chobani flips. I love them. So I got a red velvet cupcake, two strawberry cheesecakes, and a cookies and cream. I haven't tried any of those, I don't believe. Then I grabbed some cinnamon toast crunch for the top of my Ninja Creamies, some off-brand, just like round tortilla chips for like my taco night. And then some Fairlife chocolate milk. I went ahead and grabbed two. Those are for my Ninja Creamy. Some light sour cream. Some light whipped Cool Whip. You guys know I like to eat that like ice cream. I grabbed some applesauce, no sugar added, just for snacking. Some taco seasoning. They didn't have my Italian seasoning mix like that I usually get. So I got this thick and zesty spaghetti mix. I mean, I have no idea if it's like the same thing. I don't know if I still have one in here. I might still have like an old Italian seasoning in here somewhere, but I cannot find it anywhere in my Kroger anymore. So I didn't know what to do, but I'm sure it'll taste fine. Grab some grapes, strawberries, watermelon. Um, these are for my breakfast sandwiches. I got the 100 calorie ones, Thomas. Light multi-green English muffins. Mini bagels. Figured I might as well get minis. They're so freaking good. And I've been wanting like breakfast sandwiches on them as well. Some extreme high fiber, low carb wellness wraps. Carrots and onion. Two things of broccoli. Two things of corn. Cauliflower rice. Some mini cucumbers to snack on because I love the mini ones. They're my fave. And then some treats for Oliver. So... This all was around $200, but it will last me two weeks because, like I said, I don't have much in here, um, which I'm proud of myself for, but I do still have some frozen items. So I have like black and chicken strips. I have some veggies, some frozen fruit, some rice in here with mini wontons, more frozen vegetables, lots of frozen vegetables and frozen shrimp in here, some Kid Fresh nuggets, and then this one pasta dish down here that I haven't made yet. So I had some freezer items. So I, I figure with the, adding this in, I'll be good for two full weeks with every meal at home. Obviously, I'll probably eat out here and there with Tyler or something, but I am going to try really hard to be eating at home most meals. So... We should be good. And $200 for two weeks is good, I think. Right, stinker? <laughs> oh, yeah. I also bought this charcuterie board. Um, it just says cheese, some salami, dark-covered cranberries, um, olives, you know, whatever to bring to my friends tonight. We're doing just like a little girl's night tonight. So I brought that, and then I got a birthday card for my dad. So yeah, that's it. That's going to wrap up all of the groceries for today. So I just wanted to show you guys my grocery haul and tell you guys my game plan. Sorry if you see like dirt on here. It's from Ollie. Um, 
But yeah, I think I'm going to, my goal this week and just in general this month and until the end of time um, is to work out five times a week and to walk five times a week. So whether that's walking on my treadmill in my office, whether that's walking outside and then also getting a workout in. So whether it's Pilates or just a workout I do at home, I am thinking about going back to Orange Theory like once a week or twice a week. Um, I did consult a pelvic floor specialist. I'm going to them next week, but I did ask on the phone kind of like, is it okay to do those? You know, yada, yada. And um, they were kind of saying like, well, if you're not in a flare up, cause my flare up is gone right now, uh, it's totally fine, but to just modify. So just not lift as heavy of weights and to not jump around and to not run. Like I'll walk on the incline treadmill when we do the running in Orange Theory and I won't lift as heavy of weights and I won't do like the jumping and stuff, but still really get your heart rate up and still get you sweating. And I just miss, I miss it. I've realized that like, unless I'm going to a class, I just don't push myself as hard. Also, I've been feeling very stir crazy in my home. So I think that'll really help with that as well. Going to a class in the mornings or lunchtime, getting out of my house where I have to get dressed and like go see people, you know? So I know that my mind changes all the time and, you know, but I just always want to update you guys on what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. So yeah, I was thinking about that. I do Pilates right now and I love it. I've been going like five times a week and it's so fun. Like, I just think it's so fun. I really like it a lot. They do have like a cardio Pilates class. I'm really enjoying Pilates. It is expensive, but I am enjoying it a lot. And then um, I am, like I said, thinking about incorporating one day a week or two days a week back at Orange Theory just for like a harder day workout, you know? So we'll see. I may look into that or look into going to Anytime Fitness. They have group classes like that as well. And then they just have a gym. So I could always just go to the gym and do like a Whitney Simmons app or whatever weight training workout at the gym. So I feel like I get out of the house. So we'll see. I'm going to compare the prices, see what makes more financial sense um, and go from there. I just, I like to switch things up as you guys know. I love to do different stuff to keep myself interested and motivated. And now that I'm back from vacation and I grabbed all my groceries and yada, yada, I'm feeling very motivated and very excited. And I also got, you know, I have all these different workout outfits and stuff and I really want to wear them. And that like excites me, um, to put things together and go work out and look cute working out. So yeah, tomorrow is Monday, day one of getting back on track with everything. Has it workouts? It's so odd. I also have to go to the dentist. So I'm excited to do it. I'm hoping I have energy tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to go to bed early tonight. But I think that's it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching. And let's get back on track. Ollie and I are going to just enjoy the rest of today. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.